you clicked on this video, you probably already know how expansive the mice world is. Most typical mice kind of look like this, or, or even this, it's kind of like an almond shape. And this is uh, just a standard shape that all mouse makers use. But there are all kinds of different mice out there. I mean, there's skinny mice, thick mice, mice with balls on them, mice without balls on them, shitty mice, good mice, ergonomic mice, lots and lots of styles out there. But I was just sitting there and thinking one day, how much does the shape of the mouse really matter when it comes to computer ergonomics and, you know, gameplay or workflow? And is there a shape that hasn't been made yet, maybe? You know, something revolutionary? Well, hopefully today we'll find out either that or you're just going to watch an idiot play with Play-Doh. So to just really quickly summarize what I'm going to be doing here is I have this three pound tub of Play-Doh. Feel free to sponsor me Crayola just in case one of my 45 subscribers wants to buy a white crayon. And what I'm going to be doing is creating molds out of the Play-Doh with my hand, you know, unique unorthodox shapes. We're going to 3D scan those, put them in a CAD software, you know, fix them up a little bit print them and put them over an existing mouse because I don't want to do actual electronic work. And then we're going to do a bunch of tests. A regular looking mouse, you know, almost like that you took a hard boiled egg and just cut it in half. That's the mouse shape that most manufacturers use. So we're going to make something like that. Just as a, just as a control, you know, in comparison to all the others. So I'll just press my hand onto there. Okay, I think that's comfortable. All right, yeah, perfect. Uh, Logitech made this mouse that's sort of like vertical. It's not completely vertical, it's like 60 degrees. But I thought, why not go the full 90, you know? Make a completely vertical mice, completely vertical mouse. So here we go, I'm gonna add a little bit more for this one because I don't really know what it's supposed to look like. So I didn't want to make this video super long, but I did have one more idea. So I'm just going to do one last mold because if I make too many, it's going to be it's going to be a hassle. So most mice, mouses, I will never get that right. Most mice is like I said, that almond shape. You know, your wrist is always a little, or your palm, excuse me, is always a little higher. And your fingers kind of go low, or it's centered, right? But it's never like this. You never have your palm low and your fingers high, almost like you're like a tiger trying to like catch a wild gazelle or something. They never have mice like that. And I thought it'd be interesting to see, you know, why not? Is it comfortable? Does it feel like, you know, my hand's about to cramp out? But I am curious to see how it would feel to have your like palm lower than your actual fingers. So I'm gonna do the last mouse like that. And then uh, we'll get to cleaning the models up in CAD, designing mechanical buttons for them, and printing them. It's been like two weeks now. Uh, this is supposed to be some sh short, simple video, you know? Just uh, make a couple of mice and, you know, make some cool footage. No, it's been a nightmare.
So we started off with the control. The print came out pretty nice. First impressions, very comfortable. It's uh, it's actually kind of weird how well these things actually stick to your hand because I mean I did just kind of my hand onto Play-Doh. The next one was the vertical mouse, which uh, I renamed to the ankle tumor for obvious reasons. It looks like it's an ankle tumor. First impressions, it's really weird. I don't know why I made this. I don't know if it's my fault whenever I was catting or making a mesh or maybe even the 3D scan, but something feels off. It just feels awkward. It might be the fact that I'm just not used to having my hand sideways when using a mouse, who knows? So then, came the mo the one that I was most intrigued about, the Tiger tiger Grip mouse, this guy. Surprisingly, very, very comfortable. I really thought this was gonna be some kind of quick way to get carpal tunnel, but uh, it turns out it's actually really comfortable. I don't know, I'm really excited to try this one out. So this one came out really nicely, actually. I really like this 3D print. It's cool looking, it's got knuckles, it's, you get the point. And the last, the one uh, where I forgot the footage of me actually making a mold is just uh, the, the flat hand one, the pancake mouse. The print came out not too bad. This was the longest print by far though, because it has the largest volume. But they're all finished. Let's just try them out now and see, see, if, uh, see if they've done anything, because uh, I'm done with the 3D modeling thing. Just completely over it. I like, I sped that up, guys. I sped it up and took out like three-fourths of the footage. Let's just get to testing, I'm getting carried away. Let's do it. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna first do these kind of like accuracy click tests, three tests per mouse, and then at the end of the video or after, at the end of the testing, I'll just display how well each mouse did. I was going to do productivity and workflow tests, something like CAD, 3D modeling, or maybe even video editing. The problem with that is my mouses have no scrolly wheels. and therefore I can't do those tests because those programs heavily rely on scrolly wheels. Okay, okay, I assume I just click on the, okay. Okay, I'm definitely not getting some of these. Total score, 161. Let's go again. I can move the mouse pretty fast, but the micro adjustments are, are a little difficult. Oh, look at that, 211, not too bad. Basically gonna do the same thing with every mouse three times, and like I mentioned before, I'll just upload the score. Oh, I'm pushing right, I'm pushing right. Yeah, yeah. He, he's in the building, he's in the building. Okay, there's one on my left, one on my left. Oh, oh that was a close one. He almost got me too. So I'm kind of excited for this part first test. I have not tried it out yet myself, honestly speaking. So you guys are going to experience it just like how I'm going to experience it. feels like it's heavier it's definitely heavier and you know we'll find out with other mouses if it's just this one or if i just play weird with heavier mouses but thus far getting the mouse to the target in time or just while shooting dragging it across i'm not used to that resistance in that way and i feel like it's having some sort of effect on me Shh. i really thought i was going to sneak up on that dude and I just got my cheeks handed to me. Okay, feeling good, feeling good. I like it, I like it. That was a little bad. I feel like since the button distance I have to, oh, I almost got a collat. I did get a collat. You guys saw that? I can't do that with my regular mouse. <laughs> What? <laughs> reload, reload, reload. Ah, oh, he took my kill. That's gonna kill him for sure. Watch. I'm just ass at this game. 
To be honest with you guys, I don't know why I even play this game. Why? Why do I do this to myself? Yeah. Now I know. Ah, oh, never mind. Now I don't know. Like, oh, the grenade? No, no, no. What am I doing? Oh my god, that was such a disaster. Everything that could have gone wrong, went wrong. I'm actually kind of excited for this one. Genuinely don't know what to expect. I mean, come on guys, you can't tell me that doesn't look cool. I'm just... Ooh, okay. So far I am liking the mouse. I will say it's a little weird with, uh, you know, the whole palm thing like I mentioned, but I kind of like it, you know? It, your hand's always like in this aggressive position, and I'm not sure if it's a good thing or bad thing yet, but I feel like once I get used to it a little bit, it'll give me carpal tunnel, but also make me really good at the game. Uh, let's see how the SMG plays. Hello, darkness, my old it's also so hard to judge whether I'm just playing like or whether the mouse actually sucked. Oh! Peep it. Pick it. Pick it. Come on. There are flaws in this mouse. Like the friction on the mouse pad, it's pretty bad. The weight of the mouse, how far the buttons click, no scrolly wheel. But all that aside, just the shape, it feels good, especially this one right here. Don't worry guys, I got it covered. That's Call of Duty for you right there. Alright folks. We got the vertical mouse. Let's see, let's see what she does. Oh, oh. Ooh, okay, okay, sniping's not too bad. All right, that's not too bad either. Moving this mouse just side to side, very nice, very efficient. It's the microscopic movements that are difficult. And I think that mainly has to do with the fact that none of my fingers actually touched my mouse pad. They're like 100% on the mouse. And usually when you do those micro movements, you have like a pinky or something, or maybe your thumb a little bit on the mouse pad, so it helps you do those micro adjustments. With this, it's purely your wrist. Yeah! Double kill, baby! Oh, I always do that. I always toss a grenade at the worst time. Without fail. Ooh, okay. Maybe I do like this mouse. Oh, okay, I take that back. Yeah. 14 bullets in a dream, baby! Guess that wasn't enough bullets. I'm getting used to this mouse, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, get clippity clapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's my teammate. I was just test shooting, you know? You gotta test out the mouse. Run across, run across, run across. Please run across, please run across right now, right now. God damn it. I'm Now we're going to be testing the pancake mouse, where it's uh, literally just my hand, kind of uh, squished on the play-doh like I'm making a turkey in first grade. What I realized when I was making it is that there's no way to pick up the mouse once, once you're using it. There's nothing to grip to pick up because your, your hand's flat. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, but let's give it a shot and you guys will judge for yourselves. Oh boy, I could already tell I'm not going to like this. All right, let's see if I can snipe this guy. Nope, nope, can't do it. Oh, oh, there's someone right there. Let's see if I can grab that guy's cheeks. All right, I, I don't like this mouse. Oh. I don't know what just happened there. I can't move the mouse fast at all because it's a big weight. Yeah, this mouse sucks. This mouse sucks. 
feel like there's a reason why no gamers use flat mouses because you can't move them very fast or efficiently, you know? They're not aggressive gameplay mouses. They're just like smoothly engaged in entertainment mouses. What is this? Lying down with a riot shield? Are you serious right now? The mouse, I don't know, I feel like if it had just a little more curvature, you know, if it just had a slight bend, not a lot, just a little bit, and I was able to pick up the mouse and move it, it would have potential. Because it doesn't feel bad, your hand is very relaxed all the time, so you're not like under tension. Unlike the tiger mouse, where you're just kind of like ready to attack, this one, you're, your hand's kind of like sleeping. I think I might hang this up on my wall just as a memorial for all the mice in the world.